Hi guys, in this section we will be learning about the composite structure diagram. Okay, now what is this composite structure diagram and why it is important is first thing we need to know. Now composite structure diagram is one of the new artifacts that was added in UML2. A composite structure diagram is an UML structure diagram again that contain classes, interfaces, packages and relationship and provides a logical view of all the parts of the software system. Now it shows the internal structure including parts and connectors of the structured classifier. Now let me open one composite structure diagram so that it will be easier for you to connect. Okay. So I'm just opening this and as usual in the next section we will be definitely drawing a composite structure diagram and we'll consider our use case in those cases. But if you remember that when I have drawn the class diagram, let me show you the class diagram as well so that you will be easily able to connect. I will show you the class diagram first. Then I will come back here. Now, if you remember that in the class diagram, we were defining the class, say car class is there, car model class is there, engine class is there, gearbox is there and all other components with the multiplicity. Similarly, in case of composite structure diagram, you will see the multiplicity, but the components, whatever you are seeing here, if you consider car, as a component and then you bring all the parts associated with this car then you will see a different kind of view and you know what is going on inside this class so you take one particular class and then you break further that how this class is behaving inside right so a composite structure diagram will be performing similar kind of role to the class diagram but will allow you to go into further details okay and it will define and describe the internal structure of the multiple class and show you the interaction between them okay so you can graphically represent the inner class also if you want that a class inside another class is there you can also graphically show that inside the composite structure diagram but what is the fundamental thing? Let me uh, close this one and open the composite, composite structure diagram and then we will be in the context uh, easily. Okay. Now I am just opening that. Now what is the purpose of the composite structure diagram? You need to remember. So basically you are peeking inside the class, inside an object to see exactly what it is composed of. So, just now I have shown you the car class, I am just taking the car class out of it and start looking inside the car class only, okay. So, the internal action of that class including the relationship of any nested class can be detailed here, okay. Object is shown to be defined as a composition of other classified objects, that is what you need to remember. Now, in a glance, if you want to see the structure of the car what is happening it will show you the internal parts of the class and what is parts this is called parts you can see here part okay now these are the notation this part i am now okay let me not confuse you too much so at the moment i am not uh, taking any part inside because the part is exiting i am just showing you the uh, symbol by which you can draw these parts now in the car a transmission is happening right uh, engine is there a steering system is there wheel is there and gas pedal and steering that is what i'm just uh, show, uh, trying to show you now in the composite structure diagram you need to first define the class okay the part of that particular class and then you start doing the connector with a port now all these things i have described from the class object component and the deployment diagram right all the structural things whatever we have discussed till now 
everything we know but still i will be telling you uh, no worries about that i will be again telling you about every component inside it okay now one thing uh, let us uh, see that what it is exactly part by part okay what is a part then now these are the components of members that together make up a class or a component so this transmission and engine together makes up a class here comes a collaboration concept also okay i will talk about collaboration but before that this is what you need to remember now what are the ports you know already what are the ports it is a distinct interaction point between component and its environment or between the components now between the components when you are actually interacting you need a port to be placed otherwise you will be not able to do the connector now what is that connector this represents a pathway for the communication between these two parts okay i am just trying to tell you that how a part a port and the connectors are getting established now with this you are basically representing a set of cooperating entities that are collaborating to each other for certain purpose okay now engine and transmission are collaborating with each other for a car for a particular reason we know that right so when you are running a car the engine and transmission is very much collaborated right now you can see this as a template and a specific instance will be created for this okay then there comes a role what is a role role specifies expected behavior of this entity including its responsibility constraints and anything that is like now you can give the multiplicity also here okay i have not drawn that multiplicity here now what is that multiplicity we have learned in the class diagram if you have any confusion please go back to the class diagram section and see multiplicity now in a nutshell the multiplicity indicates the number of instances that can be associated at the run time for example in our case study what we did say a student can have one profile multiplicity equal to 1 but can have multiple enrollments which means zero star dot dot star is what you can write in this particular case if you have a transmission so engine has a multiplicity of what that you need to think and tell me in the comment okay now there will be delegation connector as well <clears throat> now you have interface you have class you have part you have property you can start combining everything for your implementations right if you remember i said you while you want to join everything you can join it right i am now showing that i am in the composite structure diagram and using component class and composite structure in case you need something like use case to be included you can include now slowly you are reaching to the advanced concept where you know that how you will be building all things together by tagging it okay now uh, the collaboration as i said you the collaboration describes the structure of the collaborating parts now this steering transmission engine all are collaborated isn't it so it is attached to a operation or a classifier how you want to call it is up to you through a collaboration use you use a collaboration when you want to define only the roles and connection that are required to accomplish a specified goal of collaboration okay what is the target we need to move this car isn't it so the goal of collaboration can be define the roles or the component of the classifier how by isolating the primary roles a collaboration simplifies the structure and clarifies the behavior in this particular model right now this wheels engines are part of the collaboration the front axle for the wheel you can bring a front axle also and a rear axle right you have front uh, wheels back wheels 
then you start connecting those what you can do is for the wheel if i am drawing a component for the wheel say for example what i will do is just just to make you understand uh, say for example i am doing a component here hmm? now in this component or a class if you want to call it it's up to you what for this car component you can bring i mean say i want to break uh, this into next level where i want to show the wheel consists of a front wheel uh, um, uh, sorry a back wheels and front wheels isn't it which means rear wheels some of you can call it rear now how will you draw that you have to now again go back and bring these parts right the next part again you will bring right like that you start doing all the parts inside you start writing okay i have sorry i will name this as wheel okay and then you bring another you can make it front wheel and then you bring another uh, part by saying that okay that is a rear wheel change this to rear wheel okay once you change this to rear wheel now you know that it is not just one wheel that will have in a car right there will be four wheels in the car component isn't it so for four wheels what you have to do again you have to bring the part now this is little slow but it's okay so you will write that this is the left front wheel you can also bring another part and say that this is a right rear wheel sorry left rear wheel okay so in that case this should be right rear wheel okay in the similar way this will be the right front wheel now once you define this inside the car for just the wheel component i was just showing you how you can go in depth in the composite structure diagram now what you do is then you start establishing with the connector what how they are connecting to each other so what you will do you will again create some connectors and then relate those just uh, this is not required okay now apart from this connector you have associations you have roll binding means how they are dependent on each other those sort of things the dependencies are there okay generalization everything what you have seen in the component diagram can be taken into consideration over here similarly uh, in the collab and what what you are trying to say here is say if you are putting an engine component over here can i where is the component uh, section let me quickly go to the component and if i am just showing you another component no sorry sorry you should not bring the component over here because we are already inside the car component what i have to do is say engine as a part of this whole story i can put another engine over here right so i will just put engine over here now that gives you more clarity but with that clarity you need to put the connectors left and right engine sorry left and fr uh, left front wheel and right front wheel are connected you agree similarly you have to put another connector left rear wheel and right wheel rear wheel is connected now how that will differ from car to car is different but in general what you can write over here that i am now dealing with front axle okay right and here you can write i am dealing with the rear axle in this particular case now how this is uh, totally different from what we have seen in other diagrams you can imagine because this parts uh, when when you start drawing this part this it represents a element i mean which is a set of one or more instances and it is a classifier 
of its own right now a part describes the role of the instance of this particular thing right will we were seeing here as a connected to the whole car and now that we are going to the lower part now i can tell this easily as will rather than saying car component right so the will component you are breaking so how much you can go deep inside you can go now whether you want to connect through a port or not that is completely your decision right now apart from that you can bring interface you can bring connectors you can bring bring um, i mean um, whatever you see in the left hand side can be used in your uh, composite structures diagram right so in a nutshell you can tell that a composite structure diagram allows all the users to see exactly what is content within an object if wheel is an object or a class from which an object has been derived and then you are breaking that object into smaller units then you know what exactly it is containing and you will be able to specify how different properties are fitting together right in this case of right front wheel left front wheel this was not visible in our class diagram isn't it i have shown you a class car diagram but that was not visible there now the different relationship within a complex software system can be difficult to understand isn't it but if you start decomposing the whole system functionality which will give you a valuable insight to go very deep inside that so basically if you have to say what are the benefits of composite diagram you need to remember that you will be talking about it is helping to understand the current state of the system it will be breaking down the internal structure of multiple classes interfaces or components and their interactions right and apart from that you can get the detailed runtime architecture the usage pattern it will also provide you information how to optimize and troubleshoot tomorrow if this system goes to production and later you have to troubleshoot because there is a performance problem how will you solve it you will come to the composite structure diagram and see how the components are internally working so that is what you need to remember and in the next section what we will do is we will draw our course student instructor composite diagram i mean most of the things has been covered over here but just to do more hands on the more you do hands on on this kind of things especially when you are learning uml you will be more i mean you will be acquiring more skills to do this right as a business analyst as an architect you need to know this while you are designing the system while you are writing system it's much more relevant okay so i will see you in the next but remember the difference between the composite structure diagram and the class diagram and try to revisit the class diagram if you have any uh, doubt in this okay so in the next section we will learn how to make again the composite structure diagram for our case study it may be very simple but still you just need to remember that the steps what you will be doing while drawing the composite structure diagram thanks guys see you in the next one